Greetings. My name is Lenny Marcus. I'm the co-director of the National Preparedness Leadership Initiative, a joint program of the Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health and the Harvard Kennedy School of Government Center for Public Leadership. Today, I'm going to introduce you to the concepts, the thinking, and the practices of meta-leadership. First, the prefix meta refers to a very wide perspective on what's happening, an overarching perspective that understands what's going on through the lens of the different people, the different events, and the different circumstances that are involved in any kind of a situation. There are three important dimensions to the practice of meta-leadership. First, the person of the meta-leader. That's who you are. Second, the situation. What's happening and what needs to be done about it. And third, connectivity. All the different people and the relationships of those people in whatever the situation is. That's leading down, leading up, leading across, and leading beyond. As a leader, you're always being watched. You're being watched by your subordinates, by your boss, and by people outside your organization. What you consider to be important, they will recognize. If you're in a panic, your followers will be in a panic. If you're calm, your followers will be calm. Our definition for meta-leadership is people follow you. And those people could be the whole array of people who are involved in whatever the event might be. Follow, pretty clear, and you project yourself as a leader all the time. So your emotional intelligence is critical to your leadership, just as your ability to see and understand what other people are experiencing and what other people are doing. Second, the situation, what's happening and what needs to be done about it. We have a tool that we call PopDoc that can help guide you when you're dealing with a complex situation. There are six steps. First, perceive what's going on, what's happening, who's involved, and how do different people experience the situation. Second, orient. What are the patterns that are happening? Patterns tend to repeat themselves, and they're factors that you need to identify in order to see those patterns. The third step is predict. If you've correctly identified the patterns, patterns continue in a regular rhythm. So that allows you to anticipate what might happen next. The other side, the action side of the pop doc loop, is about making decisions. You take what you've learned, make decisions, and then involve other people, operationalize those decisions. Throughout the process, it's important for you to communicate, not only to push out and express what you're doing and thinking, also to bring information in. Then you start the pop doc loop all over again, perceiving whether what you did had the intended effects. If it did, continue doing it. If it didn't, then that can help you understand where you might need to correct your actions. The third dimension of meta-leadership is connectivity. And you're really leading in multiple directions. First, to your subordinates, the people who call you boss. They're looking to you for direction. Next, leading up to the person or the people who are your boss. And we all have a boss. Could be one person. If you work in a matrixed organization, it could be more than one person. It could be a board of directors, or if you're an elected official, it could be the electorate. Next, leading across to other people, to other departments, to other offices within your organization, your chain of command. And finally, leading beyond to organizations, to people, to constituencies outside your organization. Leading across is about intra-organizational relations. Leading beyond is about inter-organizational relations. As a meta leader, you're aware of and thinking about and cognizant of all three dimensions at the same time. How well you lead as a person determines many times how well you're able to understand the situation and your understanding of the situation and how different stakeholders might experience it in very different ways helps you then build that connectivity of effort. So one of the things we found in being with people who are practicing meta leadership in the field is that the key that they're able to bring into a difficult situation is the orientation of everyone involved. If you're practicing meta-leadership on a day-to-day -day basis, it's more likely to be available to you in a crisis moment when time matters and decisions and the actions that you take matter most. So the three dimensions of meta-leadership, person, situation, and connectivity. And the bottom line is, are people following you? That's the critical test for you as a meta-leader.